Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is a reaction to the top 10 United States landmarks. With these sorts of videos, you could do, like, you could have multiple things in them because I guess from a different person's perspective, they're going to find different landmarks more interesting to them or they're going to just rank them higher for whatever reason. So this sort of video is, I guess, um, I'm going to assume it's probably just like the most sort of iconic ones in terms of maybe the most visited or whatever it is, but um, yeah, I know it's not going to necessarily be how everyone would rank it, but we're going to check this out anyway, hopefully you're going to enjoy, and let's just jump into this reaction. Why is it so loud? From nature's loveliest landmarks to incredible man-made marvels, America the Beautiful has some of the world's most popular sightseeing spots. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for where is that? What dam is this? This is colourful as hell. I don't really know where this is. This bridge is this is a mad like bit of scenery. And today we're counting down our picks for the top ten United States landmarks. For this list, we chose landmarks that are representative of America and its culture, and tried to keep the choices spread out through the country as much as possible. Number ten, the Las Vegas Strip. As a land. Is this considered a landmark? I know the Las Vegas Strip's like a place that people from around, I'm going to say around the world go to. I know in the UK it's quite like a, a popular thing to go to the Las Vegas Strip and gamble all your money. But would that make this a landmark? I guess maybe it does. I mean, it's a popular place to go to, but who knows. From ornate casinos to death-defying live shows, comedy acts to performances by the world's top musicians, the Las Vegas Strip symbolizes the glitz and glamour of the American dream. Welcome to fabulous Las Vegas, the famous sign declares, inviting guests to enjoy all it has to offer. The Vegas Strip is also appropriately named. Topless showgirls debuted there in the late 50s and still perform today. Number nine, okay. the Hollywood sign. Is that, is that top 10 landmarks? Do people even visit the, the Hollywood sign? Or is it just a thing you see in the backdrop of LA? Like, do people actually go to the Hollywood sign? I don't even know if that's allowed. I don't know. Maybe again, maybe I'm maybe I'm misinformed or whatever, uninformed. But I wouldn't say like, you've got loads of things in the US and having like the Hollywood sign number nine. But maybe just going to LA in general and seeing it, maybe that's more of it, which does make more sense. Emblematic of Hollywood's golden age, this US landmark has been imitated the world over. Located in LA's Hollywood Hills, yeah, that's true. the sign debuted in 1923 as an advertisement for the- It's a hundred years old. Oh geez, I didn't know it was that old. Fair enough. Upscale Hollywood land housing development, but it quickly became an icon. It replaced a painted board overlooking the village that stood until the lots under it were sold. After the removal of the last four letters in 1949, the sign required constant repairs until it was completely rebuilt in 1978. Number eight, the USS Arizona Memorial. Drawing over a million tourists each year, the submerged USS Arizona. Oh, this is cool. It gets a million tourists a year. That's pretty incredible. Remains a reminder of the December 7th, 1941 attack on Pearl Harbor. It was kind of more like sadness and but honor for the people who lost their lives from a floating bridge. I've never actually seen, I heard of this place before, but it does seem like a very fascinating place to go to. Visitors to the Hawaiian monument Damn. can view the ship's remains, which Holy still shit. leak oil to this day. The memorial page- She still leak oil? Can view the ship's remains, which still leak oil to this- She said it still leaks oil to this day. Well done. That is pretty mad. Day. The memorial pays tribute to the first of thousands of Americans who lost their lives during World War II. Number seven, the Grand Canyon. Deemed one of the seven natural wonders of the world. This isn't a surprise at all. World, Arizona's Grand Canyon is a truly majestic sight. At 277 miles long, a mile deep, and at times 18 miles wide, it's among the world's largest landmarks. And with its array of colors, natural structures, flora, and fauna, it's considered among the most beautiful. The canyon is also populated by several Native American tribes making it an important Jeez. part of American culture. That is really interesting. This sort of, like, the Grand Canyon, I don't feel like you could ever really appreciate how, like, incredible it is until actually seeing it in person because when she describes how, how big it actually is, 
and then you see it in pictures obviously it, do, it does represent how it would look but just in person i feel like it would be a lot more like just insane to experience because it would just be a lot more to comprehend for your brain our little peanut brains to see all of this <laughs> number six the hoover, the hoover dam, dam. That's, that's at the time it is. this gargantuan structure was considered one of the world's greatest engineering feats Today, the 726-foot-high, quarter-mile-long dam is no less impressive. Spanning the Colorado River between Arizona and Nevada, it was conceived as a way to provide power and water to dry regions in America's west. The concrete arch gravity structure is open to the public and draws millions of visitors each year. Number 5. Mount Rushmore not surprised. South Dakota's Black Hills are home to four of America's... I actually would have thought this would be even higher, to be honest. ...most iconic presidents. The 60-foot-tall faces of George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Abraham Lincoln, and Teddy Roosevelt are carved into Mount Rushmore. A carving of surprising delicacy, fashioned with jackhammers and dynamite. Although the project exhausted its funding before the presidents could be carved from the waist up, more than 450,000 tons of rock were removed to create their likenesses. Seeing all this, right, this like, in the US, you've got all these iconic sort of landmarks. I'm going to come back to this, but for like the UK, I'm just trying to think of like what would be here. You've got Big Ben, you've probably got London Bridge. Like, you've got a lot of historical buildings, but like in terms of this video, it's a lot of mixtures of, it's a mixture of things. Like, you're going to have, you're probably going to have the Golden Gate Bridge coming up and the White House as well. So maybe I guess Buckingham Palace is another one you'd have. That's free. They're all in London so far. You want to mix it up. But I don't... Um, <laughs> I can't think of any. Stonehenge? But what I've heard is... like What I've heard about Stonehenge, Stonehenge is that it's just a bit... It's a bit of... Uh, like It's a bit overhyped or whatever. Not even overhyped. It's just very... It's a very average landmark to see. Um, let's just see. UK landmarks. It's just a UK, UK landmarks. And I want to see um, literally the four that I said are the ones there. Are you listening to me right now, Google? Are you listening to me? <laughs> but yeah, three of them are in London, which is just a bit boring. London Eye. Yeah, wait. Did I, say, I said Big Ben. I didn't say Tower of London, actually. So it wasn't listening to me. Thank God. <laughs> Um, Windsor Castle, Big Ben, St Paul's. I don't, they're all in London. Edinburgh Castle. I think I've seen. I think I went past that in the train before, which is actually pretty cool. Right, Edinburgh Castle, Windsor Castle, Buckingham Palace, the Tower of London, London Eye, Snowdon. Yeah, it's just very. Wrexham's Racecourse Ground. A popular landmark in Wales due to the documentary Welcome to Wex Wexham Wel Welcome to Wrexham. See that that's the levels that we're getting to now. Bloody hell. Lake District, fair. Blackpool Tower. I've never heard of Blackpool Tower before. But like look at obviously the UK is a lot smaller, right? And in terms of beautiful buildings, I think we definitely have a good like amount of those for sure. But it's just the variety of stuff, it's not really there, is it? This is pretty interesting. I guess the giant causeway. Let's just click this. It's just weird little step things, isn't it? See, this is interesting. I mean, I wouldn't travel all the way to go to see this, I'm going to be honest, but it's pretty, pretty interesting. Brighton Palace Pier. Like, you've got piers on here. Hadrian's Wall, because that's just where Scotland and England meet. Like, it's just not. The Palace of Westminster. It's just not really comparable to the US, is it? Like, the US, you've got 10 here. But then you're going to have so many options. And they're all spread out. The ones in the UK, from what I'm seeing, are either in Edinburgh or in London. There's just no in between. It's a massive monument for passionate patriots across America to enjoy. Number four, <laughs> Independence Hall. It's the birthplace of American freedom, Philadelphia's Independence Hall, where 56 men put their lives and reputations on the line to defy the King of England and declare America's independence. The hall remains arranged and decorated as it was during the Constitutional Convention. Both the Declaration and the Constitution were signed in Independence Hall, whose famous bell tower once housed another of America's national symbols, the Liberty Bell. Number three, the Damn. Golden Gate Bridge. There you go. This project realized a century-old dream. To span the three-mile-long Golden Gate Strait, 
the entrance to San Francisco Bay from the Pacific. Built between 1933 and 37, the stunning bridge was painted orange vermilion to blend with the warm landscape and to contrast the blue waters below. Billions of cars have crossed it, and millions more admire its contribution to the San Francisco skyscape. Number two, the Statue of Liberty. Since eight that actually just left my mind somehow. They see the U.S. is just everything's just spread. It's not all in one place. 1886, Lady Liberty has greeted immigrants and travelers to New York City, standing tall in times of prosperity and tragedy. The Statue of Liberty is more than a landmark. She represents a nation's hopes and dreams. Broken shackles at her feet symbolize freedom from oppression, and her tablet marks the birth of American independence. If there's one monument that encapsulates the American dream, it's the nation's 305-foot-tall torchbearer. Number one, the National Mall. Our number one what? U.S. landmark houses the Washington Monument, the Lincoln Memorial, Oh, so it's all of them in like the same area. Memorial, the Capitol Building, World War II and Vietnam Memorials, Damn. and more. Oh, Such wow. iconic features pepper the mall, the stage for important events like the anti-Vietnam War rally. Estimated at about 50,000 persons was a loose confederation of some 150 groups and included adults, students, even children. Martin Luther King Jr.'s I Have a Dream speech. I have a dream that my poor little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. And presidential inaugurations. Ask not what America will do for you, but what together we can do for the freedom of man. It's been called America's front yard, a place for gathering, remembering, and looking forward to the next chapter in America's history. Do that you is agree pretty cool. To I like how they've got it all in us, in like within the same area like, i guess it's all under the same land or whatever you know like it's all very close to each other that's pretty interesting i didn't know that to be fair um yeah, this is such a 10 year old video damn well damn but yeah why didn't they put in the empire state building i mean that's what i'm saying the u.s has so many to be fair so many things that you can put in this like i said people have different rankings for this um, I mean, you could definitely have a, Lon a, a top 10 London landmarks and there are probably landmarks throughout the UK that I'm not really thinking of, but just in, in terms of like land, like in terms of like the land we have, you're not going to have things that can compete with, um, the Grand Canyon or like Niagara Falls, all these different places. So, I mean, it's just quite hard to, I guess, do that, but, um. Yeah, I mean, London definitely has its own things. Um, throughout, throughout the UK, in terms of the buildings, you're going to have a lot of historical buildings with a lot of meaning. But then that's probably where it ends, you know? Buildings and then that's it. But um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this reaction. And until next time, like, subscribe. And peace. Actually, before that, I want to know if any of you have been to all of these. If the 2% of you still watching are still listening. If you've been to the Las Vegas Strip, Hollywood sign, um, the USS Arizona Memorial Hawaii, Grand Canyon, Hoover Dam, Mount Rushmore, Independence Hall. Yeah, all of these. If you've been to all of these, let me know in the comments. I think that would be pretty interesting. Anyway, yeah, until next time, like, subscribe, and peace.